Hi, and this is an explanation of the PC build or buy or project that you're going to be doing next in um, computer hardware. This project is a comparison of what you could buy pre-built or build part by part with the same amount of money. So uh, you're going to have a class to do your, your buy and find out what you're going to be able to compare everything with between... Um, that and what you choose for your parts. Now you're going to be going through in your presentation and talking about what the um, pre-built was and what it includes on the inside and then you're going to go through all of your build and all the parts that are going to be included in that. Um, going through as you go through here's my motherboard, here's my CPU and um, when you get to that, what's the pass mark rating comparing the PC and the build and the PC on the buy? And then here's my memory. And how's this memory compared to the build? Uh, here's my hard drive. Here's my video card. And when we talk to video card, again, pass mark rating comparing the two. Of the one you build, you must have a case, a power supply of appropriate wattage, motherboard, a CPU with CPU cooling, memory, a hard drive. You have to have a video card of some sort, but it may be integrated. You have to have a sound card of some sort, but it may be integrated. A network card of some sort, but it may be integrated. Optional items include uh, DVD, Blu-ray, CD, uh, operating systems, monitors, speakers, keyboard, and mouse. You do not need to have any of those in your pre-build. During the presentation, you're going to talk about all the different parts and basically give us a, at least a one to two slide overview of each one of those parts and you're going to end with a comparison of here's what i gave you you're going to show us the whole thing and then the end will end up with a chart of which one you think was better now that chart you're going to use um, a um, one that i've got provided to you it says start your pc worksheet and that is this explanation of the chart. And when you say start a PC worksheet by clicking this link, when you click on that, it's going to have you make a copy of the existing one that I've got available for you in your own Google Docs. And then you can use that to start collecting your information. So we've got one on your build where you'll put as much information as you can find on your Oh, I'm sorry. Here's your pre-built. Uh, here's the one for your pre-built where you put as much information as you have. Um, you may not have a lot of information. Uh, you, if you get a Dell case, it might be standard. PC cooling might be, um, you know, two fans. You might not know any more than that. Uh, power supply, you might know it's 560 uh, watt or 500 watts, or you might not know at all what that is your motherboard you might just say it's a dell 7900 motherboard i.e that's the uh, uh type but then you will know the cpu you will know the amount and type of memory you will know the pr graphics processor you will know the storage and you'll fill all that out as much as you can on this and you'll put up here how much you ended up spending let's say if you had it was 995 dollars out of the thousand that you had available You'll be able to do that in one period, and then you go over to the pre-built, and on here you'll put in that whatever your budget is, and here you will know every part, the cost of all those parts, the case. Um, you'll put in exactly what kind of case it is and what it costs you, and you'll put in a hyperlink, and that's for you to be able to look it up later of where that part is and you'll go through and build that one at a time and decide and as you're doing that you're going to find that um my spreadsheet isn't working f oh that's supposed to say f3 to f5 look there now it's totaling like it's supposed to i better fix the master there um that you might have to switch go back and forth change what your cpu is you got you went over budget uh, and then during your presentation you're going to use all those pictures and slides as you went together and then you'll have this comparison slide built automatically for you that you'll be able to take a screen capture of that is you really your final slide on your presentation where you're going to compare the two and say which one was the better one um, you're going to use this 
um, so that you can keep track of all those things every, as you go. There are a number of previous student presentations that you can go and look at if you want to. You're going to notice that some of these are long. This one's 32 minutes long, um, and that's because I stopped and asked some questions. I don't think you're going to ever take 32 minutes to do this presentation, but I'm going to give you a lot of time to work on this one. In fact, you have this week, next week, and it won't be the week till after that we'll be presenting this presentation uh, because it's not a super quick one. It takes some, some time to go through and pick out all these parts and stay within your budget. So that's the next project, and I am obviously going to be here. I'm going to give you lots of time and support. So you're going to have to get working on it early because it's not a project that you can do at the last minute. It's not a project that you can finish in one day. It's a project that I'm going to give you four different class periods because it's going to take all those class periods for you to get this project together and get it ready to present. I do recommend you watch at least one of those to see, get an idea of the, of the scope of the project. Um, and then you're going to have to start going through and deciding your parts that you're going to do in your project. Now, um, let me switch roles here so it's a little cleaner. Uh, you have um, to ask how much money that you're basically going to tell me the amount of money that you'd like to have. And then I will be assigning that based on the level chart, the XP level chart. Whoever's first will get their first choice and whoever's second will get their choice. And we're going to go through and decide that in that manner. And that will be decided at the end of the day today or the day that you're watching that after both classes have had a chance to make their choices. Um, you're going to be able to go ahead and, and watch some of the example presentations and you're going to have a chance to look at the rubric and stuff today after you get through sections 9.4 and 9.5. So today the plan is for you to do 9.4. You got a video here. Take the quiz. The video is embedded in this one because it's really short. Make your choice, and then after you've made your choice, you'll see the present the um, what the presentation is that I just showed you, as well as uh, making that copy of your spreadsheet into your own Google Docs, and take a look at some of the example presentations, which I don't see here. I'll make that sure that becomes available. And that is it for the PC build or purchase quest that you have as your next project.